Hey, this is Mr. Vale's math class, and I'm going to show you how to stop finger counting. And it's not necessarily that you have to stop using your fingers, I just don't want you to count by ones. So for a problem like 7 plus what is 12, what I would like to do, instead of thinking like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, I would like to break that up into parts. And kind of like last time, we're going to use 10 as our like checkpoint. Checkpoint, check mark, checkpoint. Okay, so from seven to 10, how far is that? Well, yep, that's right, three, because seven plus three is 10. Uh, and if you ever forget those groups of 10, you got 10 fingers, so you'll be okay. Um, and then for 10 to 12, that's kind of convenient because they almost give it to you, it's two. And if you put those two bumps together, then in total, you're going so how we can apply this to larger problems is let's say you're buying like a truffle and it costed 46 cents and you gave the person a dollar which is 100 cents so how I would think about it is you just think up to the next 10 and the next 10 above 46 is 50 so the first part we'll think is well how far is it from 46 to 50 or you know six and what makes 10 and yeah, that's right, four. And then you'll just do the next jump. So how far is it from 50 to uh, 100? Which is kind of the same as asking five and what makes 10? So five and five makes 10. So 50 and 50 make 100. And if you put these two jumps together, you'll get the answer. And that's how you can stop finger counting. What we gonna learn today in Mr. Vale's class. Very nice.